So it is day 12 of the Ring Fit Kickstart 2.0 and it is another cardio day, which is awesome. Now, my offer from last week still stands and will stand across the entirety of the Kickstart 2.0. If you have a method of cardio that you think is preferable to you, then do that. If you want to go out for a run for half an hour, you want to go for a swim, you want to go for a bike ride, elliptical. Hell, you want to play Beat Saber. I had someone in the Discord ask about Beat Saber. Yeah, I count that as cardio. So if you want to do that, awesome. You're just doing at least 30 minutes of active aerobic cardio. And that is what we need from today's session. And that actually ties very well into my question of the day, which is, are you playing any other fitness games? If you are, awesome. Let me know what they are in the comments. Try and expand my horizons. That'd be really cool. But yeah, if you're playing Knockout, Fitness Boxing 2, just let me know. It's pretty cool. So essentially, if you're doing your cardio in Ring Fit today, though, we are actually going to be focusing on a very specific one. We're going to be doing Rhythm Mode. And what I want is, no matter whether you're doing weight loss, whether you're doing beginners, whether you're doing muscle, I want you to do some rhythm mode today. So rhythm mode was added in March 2020 through the free update, and it's found on the main menu. You just scroll off the first page. And essentially in there, I want you to do 30 minutes, 30 active minutes, or 20 active minutes, or 40 active minutes, whatever suits you. Just at least 20 is what we're aiming for. But if you can do up to 40, if you can do an hour, whatever you want. The reason I'm saying not to do this in the playlist is because if you do it in the rhythm mode itself, you actually get to unlock new levels. You get to unlock new difficulties, which gives you a better workout and gives you more of a challenge. So it lets you unlock some more of the stuff in the game that you don't unlock anywhere else. And it means that later in the program, when we do more rhythm mode stuff, you're gonna have more to do. You're gonna have more difficulties available for you, which is really cool. And it's just a really fun challenge. So yeah, the, the one thing I want everyone to do the one thing I want everyone to do is give the Breath of the Wild medley a go. If you can do that, let me know the score on whatever level you do. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Let me know. Apart from that, I have got a demo playlist set up for if you want to have a little look. So let's check it out. You'll notice here that a lot of these are arms and legs rather than core and legs. And that's because personally, I don't find the core and legs works as well as the arms and legs. That is just for me though, maybe. It may be movement detection on my part. But the point is, it's very dominant in the arms and legs because that's where the better cardio comes from. Fit Battle, Grasslands, Drago Battle, Splatoon 2 are all fantastic levels that have a lot of notes, especially at the harder level, so it's great to try them. Ground Theme and Athletic 1 are pretty good for the core and legs ones, but aside from that, it can be a little bit off with the movement detection. Find something that works for you. This is for if you've got all of the difficulties unlocked and if you don't particularly want to try and unlock any other difficulties, this playlist could work for you. Cool, so let's get funky, let's get our cardio on. Let's get at least 20 minutes done of aerobic cardio work. Now, I'm gonna talk about the fit fact of the day now, which is the hip flexor. And I'm gonna talk about a particular stretch that I like for it because it can be a bit difficult to stretch. And it is one of those muscles that almost everyone has it a little bit tight because of the fact that we are very much people who sit nowadays. A lot of people sit for a long time. So getting it stretched is really good. I'm gonna talk about the deep lunge stretch. So get into the lunge position, which you'll all know by now. Drop the back knee to the floor, shift forward so the rear thigh isn't perpendicular to the floor. Now support with the hands on the knee and lean back slightly. This increases the stretch because the hip flexor connects just above the pelvis. So leaning back and not forward increases that stretch. And this is one of those stretches that is really good to do daily. At least 30 seconds of a stretch on each side is going to really help you with the tightness of those hip flexors. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I really appreciate everything that you're doing. The hard work you're putting in, it's really paying off. And we're getting close to the halfway point, which is amazing. Like it really doesn't feel like that, but we definitely are, which is awesome. So thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe for more Ring Fit content on the way for the rest of the month, obviously, and then beyond that, I've got more stuff planned. Um, thank you so much to my patrons like Rain and John Hartman for their fantastic support. I really appreciate it. And if you want more extra content from Master Trainer Peter and all of that sort of stuff, some written reviews, uh, exclusive live streams, stuff like that, jump onto the Patreon, see if you like it. I'd really appreciate the support. But anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for a flexibility day, or if it's beginners, it's a rest day. <laughs>